Hey guys, so we are continuing on with my makeup declutter and purge. There are all of my palettes, and then this is a clear cube drawer that I keep mostly my single eyeshadows. So we're gonna do the singles first, then we'll move on to the palettes. This whole amount of shadows is actually making me feel sick to my stomach. Apologize if I sound a little nasally. I'm suffering from a stupid cold. Let's start over here. These are all my bare minerals pigments. These were all the rave at some point. This is moss and I don't even remember what this looks like. It's kind of like a taupey color. I don't know why but I don't like how taupes look on my eyes which is kind of crazy because I used to be kind of obsessed with them. I'm going to put that aside. This one is snow which is just a white. I'm going to say bye bye to that one. I don't really ever reach for that one. Bare skin. This is a good neutral, but it's a little pink toned, and it does have some shimmer in it. I'm actually going to hold on to this one. I think this is a good neutral eyeshadow lid color, and this one is Queen Tiffany, and this is a really nice neutral, too. It's kind of like a lighter, not so gold flecky version of Galapagos from NARS, so I'm going to hold on to that one. These are really good all over lid colors, all of these. This one is Cupcake. I remember this being a pink and I'm going to say bye bye. I don't ever wear pink eyeshadow and if I do it's like the lightest pink ever. This is by LA Splash and it's a glitter in nude diamonds. I'm not even going to open it because it will probably be a hot mess all over my carpet. I'm going to put this in my discard pile. This is Celestine. This is one of my favorites from Bare Minerals. It's a really pretty warm neutral. I'm going to hold on to that one. This one, I have no idea. Oh, this is a color that I helped create with Glamour Doll Eyes. It's a good all over nude color. So of course I'm going to hold on to this one. We're getting into pigments. This little tester is Reflex Pearl. And I'm going to keep this because I'm not really a big fan of glitter eyeshadows, but for the holidays and parties, sometimes I do like to add a little bit. And this is a color that could just go over any color. So I'm going to hold on to this one. Naked Pigment, a classic. I don't even think this is the same packaging as pigments anymore, but this is a good all over like neutral eye, especially if you're doing like a really clean look. Blonde's Gold. I'm going to probably get rid of this one. I don't really ever wear gold on my eyes anymore. Here's another Bare Minerals one. Oh, Nude Beach. I will keep this one. I still actually use this one. It's a really pretty nude. I always think of Lisa Lisa D1 when I see this one. <laughs> Melon Pigment. Discard. Circa Plum. Discard. This is a Berry M Dazzle Dust. Do they even still make these anymore? Number 39. It's kind of like a rose gold. I'm going to discard that one. What is this one? <clears throat> Mauve Mint. It's kind of like a mauve pink. Discard. Vanilla pigment. This one takes me back to the early days when I started YouTube. I use this all the time, but I don't reach for this all that often. It does make a good face highlighter, but it's a little too strobe lighty for me. Love this one. Chocolate brown. It's kind of got a reddish tint to it. It's a beautiful color for fall, so I'm going to keep that one. Jardiniers. This is a long time ago discontinued one. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I really don't use it all that much. It doesn't look like I touched it. I might do a little blog sale with these because this just seems a waste to throw away. seems too hard. Tan pigment I really like. It's a good fall color as well. I'm going to hold on to tan. It's a deeper neutral. And Sweet Sienna. Again, this is one of those like taupey gray colors. I think this was very hard to find at some point. But I don't like these shades on my eyes and my skin tone, so discard. This is an Hourglass Duo whoops, in Gypsy. And I still use the crap out of this. I don't even know if they make this anymore. You can, I don't know if you can see the dent, but I really love this. And this is a really nice like easy quick eye to uh, throw in your travel bag too. I'll clean these out so I can reorganize this. 
This It Cosmetics Trio, I love this. Pretty in spring. I use this all the time. So I will definitely, whoops, be holding on to this one. Good colors. Ooh, Stila, I don't think they make these anymore. This is one of those, um, what are these called? Countless color pigments. Discard pile. This color, Thanks a Latte from Benefit. Meh. I like the packaging though. Sellout from Urban Decay. This is kind of like Sin or um, like Bear Study Paint Pot. It's a little too sheeny, shiny for me. Discard. Oh, this was one of the first singles I ever bought. S&M from Urban Decay. It's a gray. I'm going to get rid of it. It's sad, but a lot of these I have in palettes nowadays. Brulee from Wet n Wild. It's a classic. It's a good neutral, and I used up my MAC Brulee. This one I don't reach for all that often. Another Wet n Wild one from uh, called Trashed, and it's black with flecks of silver, and this is a good smoky eye, like nighttime color. So I'll hold on to that. It's probably only like 99 cents. And Nutty, another YouTube cult favorite. So I'm going to try to wear these taupes again, but we'll see. This is another like rainbow glitter from LA Splash that I'm going to get rid of since I'm keeping the Reflex Pearl. Clear cute broke a long time ago. This is Ore Pigment from Illamasqua. This was super popular. I'm not going to open it because it's very messy. I loved this when I got it, but I keep going back to it to try to use it because I remember it being so hyped and I remember how so happy I was with it, but I don't feel like it looks good on me anymore. So I'm going to try this one more time, maybe like tomorrow I'll put this on, but I might just end up giving this away. This is a roll-on pigment from NYX called Salmon. It's kind of like melon pigment and it's very glittery, but it's very pretty. I'm going to keep this one. I don't keep all that much glitter, so when I do, it's very rare. Love Connection Mineralized Color from MAC Discard. <gasps> Prance. Do you guys remember Prance? This is just like a very light, light, shimmery color. I don't wear these colors anymore. <laughs> Unflappable. This is a deep, deep taupe. I'm going to hold on to this one because I like this. Corinthian from Le Metier de Beauté. I've used this quite a lot and I still do reach for this one quite often. It's one of the few taupes that I do actually still use, so I'm going to hold on to that. Chanel, I use all of these still. Fauve, it's like a pretty like mauve neutral. Taupe Gris, one of the very first taupe colors I ever bought. It's a darker color. I like it though. And Beige Lame, I love this. I've, I don't know if you can see the dent on it, but I will still continue to use this one until it's gone. This one is not even available anymore, but this color, Ruthless from Urban Decay, was so coveted. I feel like it still is. Pale Barley from Burberry is very similar. I, of course, bought it because it was very hyped, but and I used it, obviously, but now... This does nothing for my eyes. I actually even bought Pale Barley at one point. And I remember wearing it and just thinking like, why is this product so hyped? It does nothing. But it might just be my skin tone. So I'm actually going to get rid of this one. Because I try to keep using this. And I've seen people on YouTube like hit pan like on numerous ones that they had in their collection. And I just can't make it work for me. The Paint Pot in Bear Study. I don't even know if this is still good like all dried up it seems like barely I'm just gonna throw that one in the garbage this was a color I got from Henry Bendel when I went one Christmas it's a really pretty rose gold and it's kind of like it's a really pretty shimmery color called pink champagne from Giella cosmetics and it's another one I don't know I have a couple other rose gold shadows and I don't wear them as much I like the idea of them but they just don't look as good on me Steal a Kitten, oh, one of the very first products that got me hooked on YouTube videos, and this is a beautiful champagne color, but the fallout is a mess. I'm going to get rid of this one. Can you guys believe it? Oh my god, should I keep it just for old time's sake? 
I honestly haven't worn this in a while. Urban Decay Sin is very similar, and I have a lot of colors like this in other palettes that I have, especially in the Urban Decay palettes. Another Benefit Shadow, what is this one? Nude Swings, kind of very similar to the ones I just showed you. Discard Pile. This is a MAC that I did not depot, Soba. I like that one. This is Sterling Glitz from Glamour Doll Eyes. It's kind of like Reflex Pearl. I'm going to discard that. An e.l.f. Shadow in Golden. I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't wear gold eyeshadow. Working from the back, this is Clinique Black Honey. I honestly did not even know I own this shadow. <laughs> it is so pretty though. I will definitely be wearing this a ton this fall. That is so pretty. When did I even get this? <laughs> That's so bad. <clears throat> okay, Bobbi Brown. Taupe. Love this color. Obviously you can see that. This is another Bobbi Brown that I don't use a lot. Champagne, I think. Yeah, champagne. It's just so hard to go to these anymore because all of these colors are now in palette form in some brand or another. So I don't really use them all that often. This is Rose Gold from Bobbi Brown and I'm going to get rid of this one too because I have that other one I just showed you. Revlon Nude Slip. This was a hyped product. and This is kind of like Steal a Kitten but it's a little bit more taupey. I'm actually going to hold on to this one. It's a little deeper. The rest are NARS shadows. What do we got? Corfu. I love Corfu. I'm actually hit pan on this one. It's a cream base. So I'm going to use that up. California. I think I got this. It was like on sale on like a flash sale or something. It's like a good coppery fall. Reminds me of like autumn color. So I'll hold that. Hold on to that one. Cairo is a really good neutral. It's kind of like a neutral taupe. You guys, obviously there's like a theme in my eyeshadows. There's only like three different shades, types of shadows that I gravitate. This is Ashes to Ashes and I bought this a long time ago in my YouTube days and I don't really use this ever anymore. And lastly, Galapagos. I knew it. This lighting is horrible in here. I'm sorry. It's like raining out. I love Galapagos and I will use this bad boy up till it's gone. This is my discard pile. Here's all the little individuals I'm keeping. And discard, keeping. I think I'm actually throwing away more than I am keeping. So that's the singles. I'm going to re-put them into my cube and then I'm going to dive into palettes. Okay, so right off the bat, before I even started to um, pour these out. I knew which palettes I would be keeping without beyond a shadow of a doubt that I didn't even need to think about and those that I would just be getting rid of straight away. So keeping Urban Decay Naked, I freaking love this palette. I have hit pan on Naked, about to hit pan on Sin and Buck, and I just love this. I just love this palette so much. On the other hand, Naked 2, I don't use nearly as much as I use the original let alone like at all. I barely use this palette and if you can see up close they don't even look like they were touched. The only one that looks like I ever use it is YDK. and I'm pretty sure you can buy this as a single shadow. So I'm going to either blog sale this one or give it to a very lucky family member or friend. This just goes without saying. I would never get rid of this palette. You couldn't pay me to get rid of this palette. This is the IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Volume 1 and I'm obsessed. This has been the only palette I have even reached for in the last several months. I've traveled with it. It is so beyond well-loved. I love this palette. Same goes for their Holiday Edition palette of the Naturally Pretty. I just love these colors. They're just so beautiful. So not even second-guessing those. The other one that I would never part with is the Tarina Tarantino Sparklicity Palette. And I don't think you can get this anymore. Obviously at Sephora they don't sell the brand, but I'm pretty sure you can still buy this on Tarina Tarantino's website. I, the packaging aside, even if this was the tackiest, ugliest packaging, I love these colors and I still use these quite a lot. I do this, they're very sparkly, which isn't normally what I'd go for nowadays, but 
This is a neutral all over my lid and this color in the crease, darkening it up a little bit with this one. And if I ever want to wear pink on my eyes, this is usually the one that I reach for. I just love the quality of these shadows and they look so beautiful on. So I will definitely, definitely never let go of this one. And the, the packaging is just beautiful. Very sexy palette from <laughs> Victoria's Secret. Do they even make these anymore? I don't even know how old this is. When would I have ever worn purple? Here and there, I'll like wear darker colors, but no. Just no. Marc Jacobs Lola palette is another one. Obviously, you can see I have hit pan on. I don't think these, there's a lot in these little pans. So I will continue to use this one. This one's very pretty, although it's very sparkly. But these are really good neutrals that I obviously use a lot. And it's a good travel palette. So I will hold on to this one. Some Chanel quads. This is the, what is this one? Tentation Curve. I think this was part of a fall collection at some point. Kind of like mauves and plums and nudes. Not nudes. Mauve and plum and a little bit of taupe. But I'm going to get rid of it because I don't ever use it. And then Mystic Eyes, I think. Yeah, this is the very first Chanel quad I ever bought. I used it a ton back in the day, but I honestly haven't reached for it in a while. I will say those Chanel shadows have are extremely, extremely good quality shadows. They're, this quad is worth the money that they charge. Clinique Pink Chocolate. I st actually just used this a couple weekends ago. I remembered that I had it, and I really love it. It's a nice wearable way of wearing some pink if I ever want to wear pink. So I will keep that one. This one by YSL, I don't ever use. I think I've maybe used it twice. I don't even know the name. W1BA Harmony, five color harmony for eyes. Beautiful colors. It's like a fall palette. I hate to get rid of this. It's so pretty. Maybe I will try to use these colors a little bit because I don't think I've ever used it and I don't know why. I just need to make it more visible to my eyes because I don't ever reach for it. This is the Sparkle Till Morning palette from Wet n Wild and gorgeous colors but essentially I could probably find very similar ones to the palettes I just showed you so I will be getting over it, rid of this one. Bye bye. They're good neutral. The Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral palette amazing palette. I've talked about this so many times. I've shown you videos with it and I love these. And you can see the dents in some of the shadows. So I will definitely be keeping this one. These are all single quads. Oh my god, do you guys remember the spiced chocolate quad? This quad I feel like I need to keep just for the sake of keeping because this is probably the most coveted eyeshadow palette MAC has ever released. And I can't even remember. I think I paid about $60 for it on eBay or a blog sale or something. I could not get my hands on this, and then when I finally did, it was like, ah, <laughs> this is a really good, very nice fall colored palette. Not actually that much different from the YSL one. So I, I am going to keep this one just because there's so much sentimental value, and I, I really like the colors. They're very pretty colors. The Leak palettes, this is the Storm palette, and I use this a ton. They always look like um, Razzles. Remember the Razzles candies? <laughs> But I haven't reached for this in quite a while, so I'm going to say bye-bye to the Storm palette. And also the Oh So Sweet. This was a really pretty, like, springtime palette. Really pretty colors. But again, not a palette that I've reached for in probably over a year. So I need to just part ways. <clears throat> okay. This little quad is from Sonia Kashuk. It's a rose gold quad, and I think I bought it just because it was rose gold, but truth be told, this does not really do my eyes any justice, so I'm going to say bye. This would look amazing on, f like, a fair, excuse me, a fair skin blonde. These colors would look so beautiful, but on an olive skin brunette, not so much. Hourglass Modernist Palette. This is gorgeous. I have a video or two, actually, on it, and I will be keeping this one. There is, a, there is some fallout, but nothing extreme that wouldn't make me want to use it and <clears throat> I'm losing my voice and it's really compact and easy to travel with and this is in the infinity if I didn't mention boudoir eyes from Too Faced this is the original packaging how the palettes used to be from Too Faced and then they got smart and slimmed them down so this is a really pretty taupey neutral palette I don't use these all that often. I love the Sugar Walls color. It's a really pretty like mauve -y 
taupe, but I really don't use this palette all that often. And as for this one, the Natural Eye Palette, I used this a ton when it came out, but I haven't used it in probably over two years, <laughs> which is really sad. And I'm looking at the colors because I can see that all of these I can find in my It Cosmetics matte palette or my Sonia Kashuk. And then these, like Urban Decay Naked palette colors, maybe not exact, but, but enough to where I don't need to justify keeping all these palettes. So I'm going to give this one away too. This is one of the first, look how dirty it is, holiday palettes that MAC ever released. I think in 2007, I want to say. Fascinating Ruby, Six Smoky Eyes, Scant Gorgeous, Satin Taupe, Ambiance, Dark Devotion, and Carbon. I remember when I traveled a lot for work back in the day, I took this with me on every business trip. And I loved it, and I think I even have two tutorials that I filmed with it. But again, I'm, I've just been holding it on, to, I've just been holding on to it all this time because of the sentimental value, and I just can't justify it anymore. It's time to say bye. And then I have all of these, yikes, MAC shadows in my Z palettes. And then this is kind of like a mishmash palette of shadows that I depotted from Wet n Wild palettes. What a mess. Wet n Wild palette. Some blues and greens from MAC that I have never worn, if maybe once. And then I think these were from NYX, colors from NYX. So I think I'm going to get rid of all of these colors except I think there's one in here called Parrot. Let me just see. Yeah, Parrot. I'm going to hold on to Parrot because this one I remember, again, it was so coveted and I had to search high and low for it. And this is a good color to just put on your bottom lash line in the summer for a pop. It's a really pretty blue. All these colors are really pretty. I just don't wear colors on my eyes. What is this one? I want to say it's like... Bring, oh, Aquadisiac. These are like bringing back such memories. Steamy. Aquavert. This cobalt blue is really pretty. I might actually keep this too. Fresh water for just an eyeliner color. Whoops. So, but everything else, I'm going to... In a part ways with this is where it gets hard. So these two palettes I'm probably keeping every single color because sorry because I've created them full of colors that I actually like use all the time because I take these with me when I travel sometimes. But it's so hard now because I have like the naked palette and the it cosmetics palette that I don't take these anymore. But these are essentially all matte in here except for woodwinked, I think. Yeah, woodwinked and all that glitters. But it's like soft brown, brown script, texture, really good color. So I will keep this one. This one, Naked Lunch. God, I need to use that up. Oh, uh, this is an oldie limited edition grand entrance. Look how much of that I used. These I'll probably keep too. This, I don't really wear grays anymore. What is this one called? Copper plate. I used to be obsessed with copper plate. So I'm going to dwindle these down a little bit more, but for the most part, I'm probably going to hold on to most of these. And then this palette is all matte shadows, or so I thought, except for these two. And these two came out from a different brand. I don't even know. Fashion. These are just not colors that I wear anymore. I don't remember the last time I've worn any of these shadows from this palette. This one, Deep Damson, is a good matte kind of cranberry color that I'll probably keep for the fall or for putting just like on the lower lash line. But other than that, none of these shadows are really sticking out to me to kind of hold on to. So I'm probably going to just give my cousins this palette and just have everyone like take the ones that they want. This palette on the other hand, these are my most well loved. I will dwindle this palette down a little bit, but I'm just looking at these and I'm recognizing a lot of them in here and um, there's not a whole lot that stick out to me that I'm like, what's that color? I remember like the names of all of these and 
I like them. So I'll dwindle the palettes down off camera and then I'll show you the ones that I'm left with. Aside from the MAC palettes, here are the palettes I'm keeping. There are the palettes I am getting rid of. And I'm going to go through these and narrow them down to find hopefully one and a half more clean palettes and get rid of the rest of them. And then there were two. So I got my five Z palettes down to two. Really like one and a half. If you guys want me to do a follow up and tell you what all of the shadows are that I have in my MAC palette, leave that in the comments below. That will be a quick video. I didn't want to take up the time to go through and tell you each of the names of them here. But basically I just have my neutrals in one, my kind of like purpley taupes in the other. And I actually did decide to keep the blues and greens because I'm going to be a mermaid for Halloween this year. And... That would have been a really big bad move if I <laughs> let go of all of them because those are obviously colors I'm going to need for my makeup. So we'll see after Halloween if I want to get rid of them. But I'm actually thinking of using them as like lash line, bottom lash line colors until the end of summer. So here's all the shadows I'm getting rid of and I just wanted to highlight. I thought it was kind of funny. This is nylon and this was the first MAC eyeshadow I ever purchased in my life and I think this is probably my second or third pan of it. It's just kind of like a golden yellow and I used to use this like all over my eyelid and in my inner corner long before I ever even started like really getting into makeup and wearing it. I wore this like all through middle school and high school like when I first started wearing it and it's sad to let it go but uh, I just don't, I don't wear it anymore. It's a little too yellow for my tone and I don't even know if the camera is picking it up with the lighting in here but I just thought it was kind of funny it kind of was like oh tear <laughs> that was the original that was the original so yeah and then something else I wanted to just share with you guys I found these these were two very limited edition coveted palettes this is the dress camp palette and these were both from MAC look how pretty the packaging is I still have these and I'll have these forever these were just purely to collect for me um, you know, I don't really use this, but then this one was like my favorite of all time. This was the Manish Aurora collection, and this sold out online in like, I don't even know, like lightning speed. And I went on and on and on and on in my videos about this and how upset I was that I missed it. Look how pretty this is. And one of my viewers like sent, I can't remember if she sent me this or she told me about one she found on a blog sale for $50, which at the time felt like a dollar because these were going for crazy prices on eBay and it's really funny because they're not not even colors I would wear <laughs> but this is kind of this was my addiction this was just the collecting piece of it and it's just too pretty to ever let go but I just wanted to share this with you because I didn't know if anybody would remember these that I had these in my collection and I was thinking if anybody was going to ask if I still had them and if I was getting rid of them. I probably will never use these, but they're just collector's pieces that I'll just have forever. Maybe give to Addie to play with one day. <laughs> just recycle the compacts because they're so pretty. This is the progress that I made with my clear cube. I actually ended up just taking this piece out. I used to keep it here to just use it as a separator, but I just kept it out because I can keep some smaller palettes in this little square. This is just a little insert anyway. Um, but yeah, I obviously still have a ton of room and I just have my pigments in one and then my Clinique and Chanel and NARS shadows, these little like freestanding shadows. I'm still kind of on the fence about unflappable. I might actually end up getting rid of this one because it's just, it's pretty, but I don't really wear these colors anymore. But anyway, so I obviously have some room. I still have to go through my cream color bases and like gel eyeliners and like shadow pencils so I am gonna need the room but um, so I'm gonna leave this like this and then I'll kind of I'm gonna do an overview of my whole makeup collection so you can see kind of how everything is organized this might actually change but for right now I'm very happy that I made some serious progress I was kind of dreading my eyeshadow purge because I know I just knew I had so much of it but it feels really good it feels like I just lost 10 pounds <laughs> in getting rid of the eyeshadows that I am, but it also makes me really excited to use a lot of these shadows that I kind of let go by the wayside, like I forgot that I had them. So um, I think I'm going to put my It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty palette down for a minute <laughs> and start using my MAC palettes again and my single shadows and just get excited about these because there's so many beautiful colors in here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry I sound a little like 
tired and blah. I just have a bad cold, but um, I hope I didn't sound too annoying on here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!